and welcome to Belgium. Uh, we're currently in the city of Bruges. We're racing here this evening. Uh, we got the ferry across the tunnel, sorry, the Euro tunnel first thing this morning. We've got about four or five hours to kill, so um, yeah, we parked the car up outside the city and now we're just taking them in. And we're just gonna cruise around for a bit, try and find a cafe. <laughs> After spending a couple of hours in Bruges, uh, we've now headed headed to the race. It's just a standard midweek commerce tonight. Um, it's around 100k on a short on a short circuit. I mean, it's just a typical, it's just a typical commerce. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to being back and getting stuck in. Apparently, because we're coming towards the end of the season now, the fields aren't as big. But uh, but the main thing is the prize money is still the same. So the plan is to try and come home with more than we came with. <laughs> How's that boy? First race back in Belgium. Good fun. Oh mate, come on. Don't ask me these questions. It's Why? It's too soon. Yeah, raw I emotions. my breath. Raw emotions. Uh, well Steve went away, you went across. Me and Fraser were chasing you down. Yeah. <sighs> Couldn't bring you back. Because <laughs> they weren't riding with us, were they? No. You're just saying, you can ride, roll through with us, but... <laughs> After spending two and a half hours in the breakaway in our first Belgium commerce, we've gone into full crack mode. Takeaway pizza is on the menu for tonight. Okay, so apologies that this video is a little bit late. I'm actually back at home now, even though this video was from, from Belgium. And also tomorrow's video is still gonna be in Belgium. Um, basically after like after the first race, I didn't have a whole lot of time to edit the video. So I had to, like I filmed both videos and now I'm back home, uh, I'm editing them. We were only there, it was only a quick two day trip. But anyway, this video is still in Belgium. So I'm gonna talk about that first race. Yeah, it was a real fun, uh, it was a real fun first race back. Like I just love, I just love like the Belgian style of racing. It's just, it's just hard and fast and it's just on all day um basically that yeah the plan was to try and get away in the moves if we were in if we were in the moves then take the preems so yeah steve i think it was like the second lap so we'd done about we'd done about five or ten k steve attacked in a group of like nine or ten so quite a big group um they got like a five second gap 
I noticed that there was a few teams with like with, with a couple of riders. Um, we only had Steve in that move, so I like I I knew that I needed to get across and be there as well. So we had at least two riders in it. The gap got to about five seconds. Uh, then coming out one of the corners, I just hit it, managed to jump across, and yeah, basically we just we just worked, uh, we just worked worked like pressed on hard. Got a decent gap over the bunch behind and um yeah ultimately like that breakaway went all the way to the finish between me and steve we took we took six preems and then yeah towards the end um steve broke off in a group of like four four or five and then he ended up getting third across the finish line i was like 10th out of uh out of an 11 man break which wasn't ideal but um yeah i was i was a little bit cooked from from getting the preems early on but yeah we came home after that race and we earned like we earned like 350 euros prize money between the four of us, which is pretty cool. So all in all, it was a relatively successful day. Um, obviously, Steve wanted the win. It's always frustrating getting, you know, second or third, slightly off that top spot. But uh, yeah, tomorrow's a new day. And I'll give you a little bit of a clue. It went slightly better than today did. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you tomorrow at 5.